I came up with the story of an astronaut who's in space. He's fixing a solar panel, but there's a solar storm. His radio communication's down, his oxygen's running low. He's in space. Loses hope because of the lack of connection. Even though home base are sending rescue ships, the family are sending messages, the communication is broken and he can't hear that. And so he loses hope and he cuts his safety cord. The project is a story that's needed because of a lack of stories. When my little girl was two years old, her father died by suicide. As a psychologist, I knew there was literature and knowledge and research of how do you tell a child about death. All of that was really helpful for me. I've worked with teenagers who've lost parents to suicide. And the biggest question, well, if they loved me so much, then why would they leave me? Was I not good enough or, you know, lovable enough to make them stay? And that's really tough to answer. And there's no resources that address that. So I, I came up with a story and a book that would help me as a mom scaffold that conversation so that when she's old enough to have those thoughts, I could start to kind of draw on older concepts that we've covered. As a psychologist, one of the things that I know is that bad feelings, bad thoughts, negativity sticks much more than the positive. It's like that's the core I needed to get across to her, that there are times in our life when the pain is so big, it's not that the love wasn't big enough, but that it erases it or conceals it or confuses things. And the ending of the book is ambiguous. He cuts his safety cord, but the rescue ships arrive. The child or the reader gets to decide. Did they get to him in time? Did they pick him up? And that's important, I think, especially for young people because it's so tough. The, the emotional content is so hard and dark and they didn't have control in their lives when that happened. The event and the suicide and the loss in the book, they have control over the ending. And it, so it provides a safe, imaginative, creative space where they can step into something difficult, but they can restory it appropriately for where they're at. The Irish Hospice Foundation, they provided the funding for the illustrator, Fargal O'Connor, and he brought just sensitivity and depth to the story. There's lots of interest. We've had feedback from publishers that it's brave, it's needed, but it is a niche book and colour printing is expensive. So we're looking for financial support again to support printing and then work with a, a commercial printer. We need cultural resources and cultural tools that are culturally available. So not expert specialist books on, this is the suicide handbook. We need it to be just a story that exists in a world, in a picture book, in a kid's library or on the shelf, so that it's not stigmatized and that those children are not left alone in the dark, so that there's stories that represent their emotional experience.